see events recently and thought about maybe inviting Dana White to this one? Uh, you know, I don't think Dana would come, man. Uh, you know, we go back and forth at the end of the day. He's always talking about me. I'm always talking about him. He's trying to discredit what I'm doing. You know, one moment he loves Tyron Woodley and he's a five-time UFC champ and Dana White saying he's the greatest welterweight ever. And then, boom, 12 months later, he sucks. Jake Paul's fighting him, blah, blah, blah. You know, so he's just trying to discredit anything that I do, uh, which, of course, that's what I would do if I was in his position. He's a smart guy. Where does that story end? Does that end with you fighting a UFC fighter who's currently on their roster? I think it ends with me running into him in a club in Vegas and knocking him the fuck out. Professional fighter um, threatening to assault a 50-something-year-old <laughs> man who is not a fighter. Do you have paperwork for that? Or are there yeah. attorneys that need to have conversations now? Or how do you respond to that? Let me tell you what. Get in line. There's plenty of people that would like to assault me. Get in line. <laughs> it's a long fucking line, buddy. You're going to be waiting for a while. No, it doesn't bother me. This is the business we're in. I say it all the time about the fighters too. We are not in the nice guy business. It's a very mean business. I say many mean things about people too. And uh, it's just part of this game.